I released a video about six months ago on my green 92LX called Cammed 5.0, the good, the bad, and the ugly. You go to start your car once you got fuel. Hey, go. Oh, oh, there we go, right? <laughs> That's good. I wanted to put a video out at the time that showed folks that if you do put a camshaft in the engine of your car, specifically a small block Ford, there are some unforeseen things that you need to be aware of. It's not all good, okay? These cars will act differently. You change the driving characteristics of the car if you go from your OEM camshaft to an aftermarket camshaft. Since releasing this video, I've had a ton of people reach out to me say, I'm dealing with the same thing, or here's something to consider that helped my situation out, so on and so forth. And recently, I had a gentleman by the name of Bill Budd, shout out to Bill, reach out and give me this big long email, huge massive write up, which I'm very, very grateful for because it opened my eyes up to some things that I had never thought of before. So I have recently reached out to my tuner, Mr. Matthew Puzzi, who's at Tech Motion in Calgary, Alberta. I speak very, very highly of Matthew, any opportunity I get. He was the one that helped me tune this car. I reached out to him and said, Matthew, would you mind running through the information that Bill sent me and give me your thoughts? Matthew has since reached back out to me with a list of things that he wants me to check on this car. Not only check, but change and make sure that they are as he left them. Because this car was tuned six years ago, back in 2017. So today what we're going to do is we're going to fire this thing up for the very first time in about six months. It's been in hibernation throughout the winter. You can see it's more of a storage yard than anything. Those are my license plate brackets that I 3D print and sell to folks. So we're gonna fire this thing up and run through the checklist that he's given me to make sure that my car is as he left it. Now, these are things that you can change and or check at home if you're experiencing some of the same drivability issues that I've talked about in my videos. So follow along, we're gonna check these things out. Who knows, maybe they could fix your drivability issues in your CAM 5.0. All right, folks, let's fire up, see what we're dealing with here. Okay. Folks, you can hear it starting to settle itself out now. So now we're gonna start the test. First things first, I'm gonna unplug the idle air control valve. All right guys, so unplug the idle air control valve. You could hear the idle change there slightly. I'm guessing this is a good thing that it didn't stall because if it did stall, I was gonna have to turn up my throttle screw and get it to idle. The next step is turn the car off, okay? Now I need to plug the idle air control valve back in and check my TPS. It's definitely not awful. A lot of videos on the web here guys about how to check the voltage in your TPS but essentially all you're doing is just tapping into this green wire with your hot lead, uh, ground your other side with your own meter and you want to be below one volt. I mean we could maybe bump this up slightly but like anywhere from 0.85 to 0.99 is where you want to be. Maybe I will bump it up just for fun. Oh, 
0.99, right on the money. Next step in the process is to take it for a drive and see how we did. Test drive time. Now I hope you guys can hear me all right. I got my windows up, which is very uncommon for me in this car. Anytime I'm out in it, I got both windows down because I love to hear it. But uh, for the video here, I figured I'd, I'd leave them rolled off. Now the tricky part with my situation, and I'm sure those of you that have seen my video already know this, but like this isn't an all the time occurrence for me. This car will fall on its face or sputter at the most inopportune times. It's very hard to recreate it. So if I had Matthew here with me, I'd say, watch, it's gonna do it, and then it won't do it. So it's very, very rarely that it does do these oddball things, but it does them. And I really wish that they would go away completely. So, uh, this is the test, or the checks and the tests that he told me to run. So here I am out running them. I'll try to see if we can get this car to do these goofy things that it likes to do sporadically. Here on the little test drive for you. I'm hoping that we have worked all the issues and the bugs out of this thing. Maybe this little reset is all it needed. So, I'm just pulling into a neighborhood here, which is people walking their dogs. I don't really want to look like a complete idiot trying to make my car stall in a neighborhood, but let's see what we got here. Oh my god, we got another runner. Okay, I think we're clear up for this gal. Perfect. Now, like I said, it used to do that before too. It's only sporadically that it does this goofy thing, so. Caught itself nicely there. And I got a car coming behind me too, so. So far so good, folks. back for the drive folks and I can say like with 99% certainty that I have fixed my low speed low rpm low vacuum drivability issues in my cammed 5 liter it's uh 
It's almost hard for me to believe because I've been dealing with this for six years. And again, it's sporadic and it's whatever, but it it's the sporadic nature of it that actually drives me the craziest because you never know when it's gonna happen to you, right? It'll be when you least expect it, pulling into like a Cars and Coffee and you look like a complete schmuck. So take this for what it's worth. I will keep you guys posted if I end up running into any of the similar issues that I was dealing with before, but so far, so good. I'm gonna take it out for another drive again. It's sitting in the driveway and just really, really run this thing through its paces because I don't want to jump around and say it's solved, but I think we're there. So I hope this helps you out, guys. Again, uh, check out my other videos. I'll give you a link for them up here. The cam video, life with a cam and the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I've done some other ones too, so I'll try to link those up for you. Anyway, thanks so much for tagging along, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope this video helps you. If it did, please share it along to those that you think it can also help. I love helping the community and that's why I do these videos. So thanks for tagging along, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye for now.